Hi everyone, this is Dr. Raymond Brophy with Blue Bio. In this video, I want to show you a workflow for intraoral scanning or for scanning with intraoral scanners. Basically, we will start with an anchor and occlusal, then we'll go to lingual or palatal and incisal. And after that, we will go towards all the buccal surfaces. We'll scan all the palatal surfaces and then, then you'll scan all the interproximal surfaces and the soft tissue surfaces. This can be done with any intraoral scanner in the market. For better results, we suggest to use scan spray and any isolation as Ultragate or Isolite. We'll first start scanning the occlusal surfaces, giving an anchor from buccal to lingual then passing through the lingual or palatal and size of facial there. Then you will go through lingual surfaces and then you will go through all of the buccal surfaces. Once this is done, you will check all the interproximal surfaces and soft tissues. This way you will have a solid model. After this, you will do the buccal bite registration from premolar to premolar, bicuspid to bicuspid, and this will ensure the proper aligning of the models. Then you click OK, go to Edit Model, and then you will align the model in a buccal lingual position so you can cut and have a base. You will use the right click and then the cut tool, double click and select this as your base. This will be something, we'll prepare the model so we can print it. After that, we will prepare the heels of the models in case that we want to print vertical later on. Okay, once that it, this is finished, we check that we have clean surfaces. Here we can check and confirm that we don't have scatter or holes in the scan. We will just clean all the areas that we don't want. This will be because we have to idealize that later on we will create a model from this. Then position in the axial view your molars, your incisors, and your midline at the T. Then rotate the model in the occlusal plane on the lower left view. Then align your Wilson curve or frontal perspective. Now your models are mounted in the coordinates of your virtual patient. You'll just click OK. And after you click OK, you will have this virtually mounted. Then you'll go click your golden arrow in CEREC to get the options. Go to export, click export and then go and name the file in a folder that you know. Name the file after the purpose of your models. Select as Reduce Resolution Scan. Save and done. Now you have your STL models. Thank you for watching.